was on vacation a couple of weeks ago, I ended up doing a couple of videos showcasing some weapons within Call of Duty World War II, kind of ramping it up a little bit for the beta, and with the beta coming not this weekend, but the weekend after, figured we'd kind of close out a little bit of the playtesting information that I had here with another weapon guide or a little showcase of another weapon that honestly I used a lot and really did enjoy, and I guess for those of you guys that love LMGs, you'll probably really enjoy this one as well. This one we're talking about is the MG-15, a standard LMG within Call of Duty World War II, one of two that were available at E3. This one I got to play around with, the other one I did not necessarily get all that much hands-on experience with, so can't really give you guys all the breakdown and rundown of that one, but for this one, the MG-15 will be covered here a little bit in depth, giving you guys a few of the weapon statistics that we covered across the other weapon guides that we did, and also giving you guys my feedback here on how I thought it felt overall. But that said, let's jump right into it here. First and foremost, once again, getting a little disclaimer out of the way, this was all via live testing. I didn't have all that much time to sit down, go into the firing range, shoot at walls, unload clips, all that kind of stuff, and really just calculate every little bit in detail out of this to the most accurate representation that I could, but I think that I got it relatively down pat to something that is in the general vicinity of what these stats are. But bearing that in mind and taking this all with a little bit of a grain of salt, all that kind of stuff, the big thing that I found with the MG-15, what made it awesome was the rate of fire. It was above everything that you really found as a standard LMG. It was controllable, manageable, but still above the fire rates of that of a lot of assault rifles and other weapons in the classifications in the game. That said though, the standard rate of fire that I ended up finding with this was right around 709 RPM, which is again, above some of the other weapons that we ended up showcasing already here with this. Some of the SMGs we already covered, that being the MP40 and the M1928, have higher fire rates, but for SMGs, a lot more close quarters, that's something that really comes standard. But as for this, it's controllable. The recoil is not really all that much with this, given the fact that it is a high caliber weapon in the grand scheme of things. But then whenever talking about the high caliber thing here with this, that leads me into my next point, that being the damage. The damage seemed to be right around 30, which is kind of odd because that's on the lower end for LMGs in Call of Duty overall. 30 is about the base that you'll ever see from an LMG, and that means that you're needing to get at least three, some of the time, four shots to land before you end up getting a kill. And once again, for a high caliber weapon, something that is so beefy, like the MG-15, it was kind of weird to see the damage not necessarily equal out to where I thought it would be. But regardless, it still feels pretty great whenever you get it in your hands, and it's something that you might not necessarily notice you're putting that many shots in, but you end up do. And I guess that, once again, kind of balances out with that upped fire rate for this LMG. Now, the movement speed seems standard with every other LMG and every other assault rifle that really falls into the classifications and the movement speed within previous titles, that being about 95% of the full movement speed within the game. And the reload speed was was a little bit hefty, but that again is to be expected with LMGs, that being about 3.5 seconds to reload and top off. So that said, that is kind of the basic rundown for the MG-15. Once again, the recoil, adding that in on as an official mention here with this, not all that much despite being a high caliber weapon. But how does it feel overall? Because statistics can be deceiving and of course, in the grand scheme of things, may not mean anything if a player doesn't feel comfortable using it. Personally, I felt great with this. It's one that I wouldn't necessarily go running around all that much with, but if I was, say, holding down a flag in Domination or playing the Anchor in Hardpoint, something like this, it would be a great option to just sit around but also patrol and not necessarily camp, but keep an area for yourself and keep it out of contention from the enemy. You can definitely hold it down, you can lock it all down, that kind of good stuff, and be a great player with this. But as for like a rushing style or a run and gun, of course, LMGs are never really made for that style as is. So it's kind of odd to see that happen, but if you end up going to try it, I suppose you maybe can, but it really wouldn't work out in your favor. But if you end up playing to the attributes that the gun has, all that kind of stuff, those mid-range engagements and holding the fort down definitely will be very easy within Call of Duty World War II, and it'll be one that you definitely want to pick for that certain playstyle. But that said, would I recommend it? Absolutely, I'd definitely give this one a shot here in the beta once it comes live for everybody. It's a lot of fun to use, even though I'm not necessarily the biggest LMG person. I did enjoy every second of using it. I felt very good here with it, and of course, I think that you can too at that point. But 
All that said and out of the way, that's gonna wrap up this little showcase, this little statistical breakdown, whatever it may be to you. Give it a shot in the beta, but hopefully you guys enjoyed, and if you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below. Let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section. Do you think it is a little bit too beefy? Do you think it is something that you'll definitely try out? Whatever it may be, feel free to let me know down in the comments. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding World War II. The beta is right around the corner, and my friends, I promise you, I have so much stuff that you guys do not want to miss, so make sure you stick it right here. The next week and a half to two weeks, are gonna be killer so make sure you stick it right here and if you guys also enjoy black ops 3 modern warfare mastered infinite warfare all that good stuff we'll have you covered up on the channel as well and finally if you guys want to follow me over on twitter that is the best place to get connected with me outside of youtube i practically live on twitter so if you guys want to strike up a conversation ask me a question whatever it may be link is down there in the description below but all that said and out of the way hope you guys have a fantastic day thanks so much for watching modern and espresso i'll see you guys later take care and peace